Kim, you've been you're getting some more minutes as of late. What do you feel like has led to you just feel more comfortable playing better or, or just whatever you've done to earn that opportunity? Um, I just continue to work. Um, continue to work hard on our off the court um, and doing the little things that can help us win a lot of defense like normally. Um, but just try to bring energy every time I get in the game. Do you feel like you're more comfortable with what Jeff Cable's asking of you guys right now than you were you know, at the beginning of the season? You have a better grasp on what your specific role is going to be with this team and, and how you can contribute? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, getting used to uh, Coach Cable is uh, a little challenging in the beginning, but now it's a lot easier to understand what he wants from me. Earlier in the season, Cam, you maybe weren't playing as much. I mean, what did you do to sort of like to prevent yourself from being discouraged and keeping yourself working at the same level and doing some of the same things? Um, a lot of times, you just got to stay in the gym, keep on working out. You know, a lot of times, just sometimes getting away from basketball, maybe um, enjoy some things like going out for a walk or, or uh, trying different foods. Um, it's just a lot of times, just make sure you stay yourself at all times. Just always continue to work, you know, feel, you know, come back and uh, reward you. Were there any uh, good new foods that you tried? Um, I tried some calamari, kind of like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I kind of tried this place called Chicken Bubbly. I don't know. It's a, it's a nice little place, though. It's pretty good. Do you prefer calamari with the red sauce or, or no? Definitely with the sauce. sauce? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I like the sauce. Okay. Cam, um, you, you obviously played the Carrier Dome last year. You played against Syracuse 2 3 zone. What can you tell? your younger teammates about the dome and about playing Syracuse's zone? Uh, a lot of times in the zone, people uh, defer to shooting in the zone. But um, a lot of times, the weakness in the zone can be attacking the inside and um, exploiting the inside, even if it doesn't look like it's there. Sometimes, a lot of times, that's where the players, players and I think that the, our guards and our new players are really well and good at uh, attacking the inside. So I think we'll be good. What about playing in the atmosphere there? Uh, the atmosphere, so the, the court's kind of weird because it's in a big dome. so. The people kind of seem farther, but it sounds a little louder. But, you know, we, we played in some pretty bad games so far, so I think they'll be okay with that too. What did you see from Syracuse when you watched the video of the Duke game the other night? Um, they, they played really well in a fast break. Um, and I think I think they forced Duke to take bad shots on a lot of threes, like I said, um, which can be deceiving because sometimes those threes are not the right play to make. It seemed like Maybe Coach Cape will express this to you guys, having known Duke as well as he does, but it was almost like they got into more of an open game. And the, the pace of the game almost helped Syracuse in that regard. Did he sort of speak to you guys about trying to control the pace at all going to the carrier dome or no? Uh, yes, for sure. Because he, he tells us that uh, the Syracuse likes to run um, and it gets a lot of their points on a fast break, so he stopped them from getting into their fast break and make them run in half course that he will have a better chance of minimizing their, their points. NC State was your first ACC road trip this year. It was one you guys were in it the whole way but couldn't quite close it out. What do you think this team with uh, the new guys who were experiencing this for the first time sort of learned from that uh, from that game down in Raleigh? Um, we learned how to be tougher because um, on the road there's a lot, a lot of things that don't go your way uh, at times. Even, you know, you could have the energy the whole game and the last two minutes um, they get on a roll or the, the crowd helps them get you know, their energy back. So I think we learned how to be more solid and more persistent in the whole game and playing uh, a full 10 rounds, as we say, which is four, four minute increments, um, and it's being consistent. I'm going to assume, in, in your mind, you believe you're a better basketball player this year than you were last year. In, in what way do you think you're a better player? Um, I just understand the game a lot more. Like, I just understand, like, there's little things about basketball that I did understand. Obviously, I'm still, even to this day, trying to continue to, to grow offensively. But like, even defense is a lot easier. I just know like, when to make plays and when to do certain things. It's really a mental game when you think about it, and that's what you learn throughout the years. What has Coach Cable taught you that maybe you didn't know before this season? A lot of things. <laughs> um, what is one big one? Oh, uh, he's kind of he's kind of been helping me like off ball defense because like I've always been good at on ball defense, but off ball I never really knew positionings or like. How like the timing stuff like that? He taught me a lot, like a lot of off ball defense, which has helped me like kind of contain um, defenses without even needing to get a stack. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's been really interesting. It's a lot of little things. To prevent prevent the pass to your guy you're talking about. Yeah, like preventing the pass or even in help defense, somebody drives like learning how to play too effectively um, and not make it seem like there's like almost like misperception. It's pretty it's pretty interesting. It's a lot of stuff the defense.
So you're pretending like you're not guarding the guy, but you really are. Yeah, for sure. That's hard to do. I was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty interesting uh, learning that. Well, you said sometimes it doesn't look like it's there in the two, three inside, but it is. You're talking about sort of behind the zone on the lob, talking about sort of in the middle of that ACC logo, or where are you? Um, so Syracuse is a really long team. They have a lot of length. Um, I think their point guard's at 6'5", and 6'10", which been. So, like, if that's their point guard, you can assume how the rest of the team is. Um, so a lot of times their length makes, like, gaps kind of seem smaller than what they are to completely wrong. But if we t- get the ball in the middle, or in the, the mid post, uh, we can attack and, and force them to play like our fast guards in the middle. So a lot of times we get the ball into like the high post, and the, and the low post after you get the ball in the high post can lead to easy layups and buckets. You've had some success offensively, especially with that the three from the corner. How important is it to kind of have that shot that you feel confident in that that's, you're getting open and you're, it's going in for you? And how much can that make, especially a guy that – you don't know how many minutes you're going to get on any given night to have that something to kind of lean on. Uh, it's, it's great. Honestly, I put a lot right into the corner three, um, especially before the ACC started. Um, so for me, I feel like if they help, you know, I'm going to hit the shot. And that's how I feel, honestly, every time. So um, now it, it, I, I, I get rooms for driving lanes from like, like Trey and for Matt Xavier, and I try to help the team just by hitting, you know, a shot. So I think. It's really important for me in my game. I, I took a lot of uh, confidence into it. What do you feel like makes you uh, makes you more comfortable from that spot? It, you know, is it not having uh, defenders on one side of you and really like you know and basically you know like say that you're facing the uh, basket straight on? There are four different ways that you, that, that you can miss to the left, right, long, or short. There, like unless you're really hitting the side of the back or just missing it entirely, there are only a few others. I mean, what do you think is what about corner threes do you think is you have a certain level of comfort with? Uh, for me, the way I see it is this is you and the rim. There's nothing behind the rim. All you can see is the rim right in front of you. So um, it's almost like a one-on-one game. If you get it the right spot every time, it's going to go in. It's just you and the rim. There's nothing behind it. When you're in the middle, <coughs> sorry. When you're in the middle, there's the fans, there's things behind the rim that can maybe distract you. I don't know. But, you know, when it's just you and the rim, I feel like I isolate, I isolate the rim more. and It's just easy for Sure. We've, uh, t- we've talked some earlier about Syracuse's zone. I mean, how different is what they do compared to you know compared to all these other teams uh, that you guys are facing now? Coach Cape, we used the analogy earlier, like in baseball, you'd be like facing a bunch of pitchers who are, th- who are throwing fastballs, and then all of a sudden you're facing someone who is a knuckleballer. I mean, how different is what they do compared to what other defenses that you all have faced, and how difficult an adjustment? Um. I would say they, they play a really good zone. They play a really, really good zone. Um, no one can really replicate what they do because um, they're, they're a really talented team. And it's, it's going to be a different experience for sure. Um, so practice is, is definitely different too to help prepare for that. Um, they're a very unique team. I don't think we've played a team who plays the zone like they do and probably won't. Um, but yeah, our preparation is definitely different. It's completely different than how it can further. Um, other games so far in ACC for sure. There's been a lot of talk about the Oakland Zoo not storing the court lately. Do you have a preference? Do you like that they don't, or do you wish that they would, especially after they got set to big wins? Um, the, the Oakland Zoo is great. Like, I, I personally love the Oakland Zoo, so whatever they want to do, they can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're already amazing. So if they want to storm the court, cool, cool. They can storm the court. If they don't, then it's cool. I know they, they, they love us, and we love them back, so that's all that really matters to me. You guys, uh, I probably know the answer to this question. Do you have any goals this season? How many games you wanted to win in the ACC this year? Um, no, we don't put a number to it. We want, we want to win every game if we could. You know what I'm saying? You already won two, and you have 14 to go. So you, you have a chance to you know, end up with a pretty good record in the ACC this yeah. year. Are no. you playing above your expectations at all? No, no not at all. No, we, we put so much work in there. So much work in every day, so much time and, and energy towards this. Um, we're not surprising ourselves. I mean, it was cool to win the first ACC game, don't get me wrong, and it's exciting to get upset, but I'm glad we got those out of the way because now it's just basketball. We, we put in the work. We deserve this. We deserve to be here. Um, so I don't think um, – so not, we're not surprising ourselves at all, though. No. We, we, should, we should be able to reach for the stars. I believe that we could be a really good team.
you know, you were here, you were talking about moving past the excitement of those wins, but for uh, for someone like you who's there for all the losses and all the difficulties last year, I mean, how validating has the experience so far been, you know, as far as your decision to come back and to, you know, try to build from where that program was? Um, it's been cool to see, um, you know, positive things coming from um, coming back and uh, decided to put it in and make sure work with a different coach. It's been pretty cool to see those positive um, kind of things happening lately. But I mean, that's just very small to what, you know, our goal really is, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I want more. I'm never satisfied, never. I mean, it's a, it's a good feeling to win, but I, we lost 19 times. I, if, I, if, I, if I had the choice, I would, I would win 19 times to make up for it, you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's to say that it's what it is.